Calaroga Shark Media. Hey, and welcome to Entertainment Plus. I'm your host, Mark Francis. Emma Stone and Travis Kelsey were spotted having a blast at Taylor Swift's Eras Tour concert in Velton's Arena, Gelsenkirchen, Germany. Stone, sporting a blonde bob, rocked several friendship bracelets alongside a short grey skirt and plain white tee. The Oscar winner recently collaborated with Swift on the song Florida from Taylor's latest album, The Tortured Poets Department. Kelsey was seen popping his head along to a love story from the VIP section of the arena. He's been taking in Eras tour shows all over Europe during his off-season. The NFL star recently gushed about Swift on the Bussin' with the Boys podcast, saying, I think that's why I really started to fall for her, is how genuine she is around friends, family. It can get crazy for somebody with that much attention, and she just keeps it so chill and so cool. Kelsey also recalled Swift's first NFL appearance as a turning point in their relationship. The first game she came to, I was like, I can probably set you up with everything, Travis said. And she just walked right through the front door. There's no going down, talking to security. She was like, I just want to be around for family and friends and experience this with everybody. In TV news, the Emmy nominations are out and FX's The Bear is feasting with 23 nods, breaking the comedy series record previously held by 30 Rock. In the drama category, Shogun led with 25 nominations. Some past favourites like Succession and Ted Lasso weren't in contention this year, but The Crown, The Morning Show and Only Murders in the Building became the new legacy shows with multiple nominations. The 76 Emmy Awards will air on September 15th on ABC. Adele fans, brace yourself. The singer has announced a major break from the music scene after her upcoming 10-day residency in Munich. She told German broadcaster ZDF, my tank is quite empty at the minute. I don't have any plans for new music at all. Adele added, I want a big break after this, and I think I want to do other creative things just for a little while. The singer also opened up about her feelings on fame, stating, I don't like being famous. I love that I get to make music all the time. The Kennedy Center Honors have announced this year's recipients for Lifetime Artistic Achievements. The honorees include director and filmmaker Francis Ford Coppola, blues singer, songwriter, and guitarist Bonnie Raitt, jazz trumpeter, pianist and composer Arturo Sandoval, and the four surviving members of countercultural rock band The Grateful Dead. Bob Weir of The Dead expressed his gratitude, saying, Not so long ago we were sort of outsiders. Now that's kind of changed. We've been accepted into the American musical tradition, which is where we've always been. Rising star Chapel Roan opened up about her quick ascent to fame, revealing she's pumped the brakes on becoming more known. She told the comment section podcast, People have started to be freaks, like they follow me around where my parents live and where my sister works, all this weird shit. Roan, who has been labelled as Gen Z's Madonna, explained that she had made a promise to herself that she would stop making music if fans gave her stalker vibes or made her family feel as if they were in any danger. However, she also noted the perks of fame, saying people who I've looked up to my entire life are like peers, which is sick. She recalled an interaction with Miley Cyrus saying, Miley invited me to a party and I was like, you don't know that you were my first concert when the Jonas Brothers were opening for you. More entertainment in just a moment. Donald Glover is retiring his stage name, Childish Gambino, after his upcoming album, Brando Stone and the New World, told the New York Times it really was just like, oh, it's done. It's not fulfilling. And I just felt like I didn't need to build in this way anymore. Glover reflected on how parenthood influenced his decision, saying, when I put my son on my shoulders, I feel deep joy. That's real. No one on their deathbed is going to look back and say, thank God I avoided being cringe. The artist's definition of success has evolved over the years. He explains, success to me is honestly being able to put out a wide-scale album that I would listen to. If people listen to this album, it becomes part of their identity if they look back a year later and are reminded of how much they listened to it and what it felt like in the summer of 24. That kind of real estate is way more valuable to me than chart metrics. Kesha opened up about her decade-long legal battle with former producer Dr. Luke in a wide-ranging interview. The singer revealed, I've spent almost 10 years in litigation and millions of dollars in legal fees. Kesha also discussed her early career image, saying, Looking back at the music that I started with, which was full of irony and kind of went over people's heads, I feel like I got labelled as a party girl and very unintelligent, and that's a stigma I've been trying to fight against my entire career. The singer shared that she was on track to attend Columbia University before her music career took off, saying, I wanted to go to Columbia to study psychology and comparative religion. Kesha recently started her own record label and released her new independent single, Joyride, on July 4th. 
Lastly, actor Manny Jacinto shared his experience of being cut from Top Gun Maverick. Despite going through months of flight training for the role, Jacinto only appears in the background of a few scenes and his lines were completely scrapped. He took it in stride, saying, It's flattering that there was a little bit of an outcry about me being cut, but it wasn't shocking to me. There was a sense of where the film was going. Like I can see them focusing the camera more on these other guys and not taking so much time on our scenes. Jacinto added, it kind of fuels you because at the end of the day, Tom Cruise is writing stories for Tom Cruise. It's up to us, Asian Americans, people of color, to be that for ourselves. We can't wait for somebody else to do it. If we want bigger stories out there, we have to make them for ourselves. And there you have it. Please follow us on Spotify, Apple, or the app of your choice. If you like the show, write us a review, leave some stars if you're really enjoying it. I'm Mark Francis. My thanks to John McDermott. This is Entertainment Plus. Entertainment Plus.